then you can propound the questions to the chair where the secretary can do the follow-up answers. Thank you. I submit, uh, Madam Chair. <laughs> I recognize a tongue. Gusto niyo mag-chair? Once again. <laughs> Maybe uh, Secretary Aguirre to please respond. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairperson. <laughs> Honorable members of the Commission on Appointments, kindred souls in public service, Distinguished guests, a blessed good morning to all. Allow me first, before I respond to uh, Senator Triliana's uh, accusation, to read my opening statement today, this morning. Foremost, I thank all of you for giving me your precious time. I am once again before the August Commission to humbly seek the confirmation of my ad interim appointment as the Secretary of Justice in the administration of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. In reverential compliance with the mandates of our Constitution, which I swore to uphold and to support, I come before the Honorable Commission to seek its imprimatur. I come before you asking not for charity, nor seeking for your dole out. Rather, I seek your imprimatur to fully serve the Filipino people as they steward of the Department of Justice. Previously, I came before all of you and offered my hard-earned reputation and my integrity in the service of our people. Madam Chair, Your Honors, I now make the same offer coupled with the promise of redoubled efforts to fully implement our President's marching orders to truly wage war against illegal drugs against corruption, and against all forms of criminality. Thomas Jefferson once said, give up money, give up pain, give up science, give up the earth itself and all it contains, rather than do an immoral act. That is also my commitment to all present and to our people. He further said, the precept of providence is to do always what is right and leave the issue to him. Before all of you, I commit to do the same. If it is indeed his will that I am to continue serving him in this capacity, then may all of us be willing participants in the unfolding of his grand design. With my unshakable faith in the Almighty and full trust in his guidance, protection and provision, I now submit myself and the trajectory of my aspirations to serve to your disposition and benevolent approval. In closing, allow me to state that due to the pressure and volume of my work, I might have hurt people in my choice of words, and for that I profusely apologize, specifically to Senator Trillanes. I value opinions and I value opposition. That is democracy at work, and I consider it as part of the confirmation process. In 2003, when the uh, Okwood Commission was formed, of course, we know that Justice Feliciano was the head counsel. I was the deputy counsel. The uh, mutineers, as we call them at that time, headed by Senator Trillanes, then Senior Grade Trillanes. There is also Senior Grade uh, Gambala. I think he's a captain. They were five in that specific uh, detention center in Gampagano, where the high-profile inmates are now housed. With also there is uh, Congressman Alejano, I think uh, another uh, Navy man, senior grade uh, Layu, and another Navy man, Mr. Mastri Ocampo. These mutineers, the five of them, led by Senator Trillanes, would not talk to any lawyers being sent by the government. 
from the office of the Ombudsman, from any other lawyers. And so it was uh, ordered or uh, asked by the uh, Feliciano Commission to be the one to uh, talk to these people. I am the only one, this designate to the Secretary of Justice, who they trusted. They all gave what their reasons for going against the government. Ako lang po ang pinagtiwalaan nila, including Senator Trillanes. After that, nagkaroon po tayo. They told me everything why they rose against the government. And then there was a hearing. I don't know if Senator Trillanes would still remember this. Nagkaroon po tayo ng nationwide hearing sa Camp Aguinaldo. I presented Senator Trillanes in a nationwide TV. Ako po ang nagpresent sa kanya. Sa nationwide TV. And there, I was able to elicit all their complaints and misgivings about the government of then Gloria, President Gloria Arroyo. I don't know if Senator Trillanes would still remember that. Ako po yun, Senator Trillanes ang nagpresenta sa inyo. And I was able to listen to lahat ng complaints ninyo, including that of uh, Mr. Maestro Campo. When the palace, in my questioning of Senator Trillanes, know what I'm doing, they asked that I be changed. In other words, they did it, the palace do not like the uh, trust of my examination because I uh, was able to elicit the complaints of this, uh, the five of them. And so because of that, I said that uh, ganito pala itong commission ito, so might as well resign. I resigned to be a member of that number. I'm the number two in that Feliciano Commission, but I resigned. So I know, uh, Senator Trillanes, that I don't know if you remember that. But uh, I'm really wrong in name calling your person. For the first time in my six months as Secretary of Justice, that was the only time that I lost my equanimity. I lose my cool. Because why? The uh, you are accusing me, or many are accusing me of complexity in the Jack Lam story, Jack Lam scandal. I all I value my honor and integrity more than my life. This is the reason why, during the impeachment trial, I cupped my ears, I covered my ears because I could not. Let Secretary, please 